Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to play Nightfall, and we're going to play the cooperative version. Now this is a game we saw at Gen Con, and we pre-ordered it. Hopefully you saw our preview video. So this would be a how to play and playthrough video, and we will do a competitive how to play and playthrough, mm -hmm. where Julie will play the demons, and I'll play the knights. Just like she likes to play the dinosaurs, and I'll play the humans. Uh, uh, it means I get to kill them. <laughs> so you place the nine tiles, you place the seal in the middle here. And the seal is weakening, and demons are coming out trying to break it entirely so that way all the evil can come out mm. uh, through the seal and try to take over the world. Uh, and you can play, by the way, the game can be played cooperative, competitive, and campaign. And the campaign and the uh, cooperative mode can be played solo. Mm. All right, so you put the seal here and then you randomly put the other nine tiles around like this. It suggests that you don't play with the room uh, features here, that when you move into it or move out of it, that you gotta do certain things. Mm. For instance, in this room, it's actually a split tile with a, uh, oh. uh, I think it's a sewer running through it and, it and it can modify movement and combat, but we're not playing any of those special features. Okay. It's just the rooms, but you can add that in later. Okay. Uh, so each player controls a demon and the demons go first, then a knight, then a demon, then a knight. I'm the wrath knight and Julie holy knight. holy knight. And we're using this AI deck here to control the demons. Oh. And you'll see that one card is up like this. The first card is a primary ability, which mm. is turn face up like this. It starts out like that. And one card is upside down with a secondary ability. Oh. So the second card you draw, you just you just flip it around like this. Interesting. Each knight gets a basic action card, and you always get this card back. And then three random knight cards. Uh, I forgot to put a heart on this demon here. You put the hearts here to, to show you what your, your health is. Uh, knights get a defense value right here and here. Uh, knights start in any corner. By the way, the end round isn't, this is actually put on here on the board to remind us. <laughs> uh, each elder, now the elders, the demons want to get the elders because once the demons get all the way up to the monastery door, the seal is broken and they win. Each elder that is killed gives them two victory points. And each knight that is killed gives them one victory point. Mm -hmm. Whereas for knights, and I can show you here on this card, the knights get one victory point for just surviving the day or the night I should say the hour maybe I don't know if this is per hour or per day or whatever <laughs> it is okay uh, you get one victory point uh, per demon killed and if we just sur survive the end of the round uh, the imps are the allies of the demons and in a two in a two, three, I think it's two, three player game. Let me see what it says here. Play three imps in a one through four player game. Hmm. And you place only two imps in a five to six player game. And that's the same in the competitive mode too. And you place them adjacent. So these tiles are adjacent right here. Diagonals are not adjacent. The tile that you're in is called the close tile and tiles that you're next to are called adjacent. So you have this nice little reference card here. Yeah, I like that. That helps me a lot. Yeah. And you'll see the cards are going to refer to do an adjacent attack or do an attack in your close tile. Mm -hmm. there's, even a, there's even a uh, card that allows you to do an attack diagonal, we found. Oh, yeah, that was fun. That was a special, a yeah. special card. Uh, so the imps are set up. Now, the knights also have minions. So the imps are the allies of the demons. The elders, which you'll see here, all have their slider on the six. It's very a faint six right there. I don't know if I can get it to come in. Yeah, you can probably oh, there you see. go. Yeah, you yeah can see perfect, it. honey. Nice see, they start out at six health. And we have stone golems. And the stone golems go in the corner where there's not a knight, so you're not going to have any stone golems in the beginning if you have too many players. But in a two-player in a two-player cooperative game, uh, we're going to have uh, a knight I'm sorry, a stone golem in each corner here. So that's the setup for that. You'll see off to the side here, here are the other demons that we'll draw from when a demon dies. 
and that's their standees and there's some special standees like there's one guy that gets these uh, skull things that can generate uh, as little helpers there's some effect tiles here here's our other knights and here's our knight draw pile because the nice thing about this is no player elimination when you lose a knight you just get another knight and the knight will appear in the corner on your next turn when it dies after after it dies and then there's some special golems here that come with some knights that we haven't seen yet there's another imp that can come into play and two more stone golems and these are limited by the counter mix so if they're all out and you'll see at the end of a round so demon knight demon knight and then we do end of round and that's where the minions get the act get to act knights gain one point for surviving then stone golems get two actions now all minions, golems and imps, get they have two lives and they can heal, move, and do a melee attack. It does say in the rule book that if, if a minion is damaged, has one life lost, it must use its first action to heal and then it can use its remaining action to move or attack. Uh, so imps get two actions as well. So it goes in this order and it matters uh, because you uh, stone golems may kill an imp and then at the very end an imp appears on the seal but if all imps are in play and, the, and no stone golem killed an imp then no imp will come up because all four are in play same with the stone golems on the corner if all four stone golems are in play you're not going to place one on this round so we'll be going through that to make sure we don't skip skip that uh, so the they say that in a, in, in a more advanced game you can start the knights in the same space as the demons, but we're still noobs, so we're going to uh, start one ahead of the of the demons. Here is the knight draw pile, the AI draw pile. Uh, did I go? I don't think I went over this already. So no. when you set up your cards for each knight and demon, you draw two AI cards for the demon. The first one, you see when you flip it up, you start out with the primary ability right here. This is the deadliest part. And then the next card, you'll flip around and do the secondary ability. So the demon's gonna carry those out. Now, this card right here, if you're playing in co competitive mode, you'd get to choose when you want to do these. And so let me show you what's on the card here. You have a magical attack here a demon can do, but in the AI card, we'll tell you when it takes effect. In a competitive game, you can use your cards to get two magic to use your magic power, whether you're a knight or a demon. Every ma uh, knight and demon has a magical power. But in the cooperative mode, you're, uh, a demon's only gonna get the uh, magic attack if the AI cards tells says that it will use it. And then here is a power that's available all the time, but in the AI uh, game, it would be a card that says if it can be used or not. So we ignore that in the cooperative mode. But if I was the demon, if Julie was the demon, she could she would make keep track of that power and decide when to use it. So the demon has her uh, her two cards. Julie's demon has her two cards. Now you'll see what we're not playing with before I go over the night cards. We're not playing with the demon power cards. So these are this is their draw deck in a competitive mode. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's off to the side. If you're playing the campaign mode, we're not playing with the village or relic cards. Mm -hmm. They have the same back. Oh, they do. But one's relic and one's uh, village cards. Okay. And these are additional basic action cards, which I'll explain in a moment what that is. And here's a campaign book. Oh. I'm not too sure how this works yet. After we do the competitive and cooperative how to play and playthroughs, if we get enough interest, we, we could play the campaign mode if there's people that want to see us do that. Uh, all right, so the, the, the knight has a starting health and one defense, which I'll explain in a moment. So just like the demons, but since we're in control of the knights, we can decide when we want to use the magic if we have the cards to use it. And then uh, you have a power that you have to read and determine when does it take effect. So my guy, the Wrath Knight, deal two damage to a close, that means same tile, or adjacent enemy, that means up, down, left, right, whenever another knight or uh, elder is killed. And it doesn't matter if it's my turn. It just, it happens. Uh, so that's my power. So let me put that on there. Uh, so each knight gets a basic action card and three uh, knight power cards. And you'll see that there's two parts to the knight power card. You have the top part 
that can be used for two movement. Or you could do the bottom part. Deal two damage to one adjacent enemy and slow them. So it's good that I show that. So what does slowing mean? Well, in the when a knight gets slowed, a random card, not the basic card, is flipped over, which means you can only use it for its minor ability on the back. I'll explain what that means in a moment. You can only be slowed once, and it's only for that round. So just because if I get slowed again, I don't flip up another card. It just prevents me from using the better powers on the other side. Let me explain another, another uh, feature of the cards. If you see uh, a card that says seal right there, and there's another, something else would be said there. I'll look it up in a moment. That means you can play this card and you have it, you have the card assigned to your knight for as long as that knight's alive. So once per turn, you can move one when an elder takes damage. Uh, so this gets attached to your knight and it's available to use forever until the knight dies. Now, if you get another seal, now I gotta look up. <laughs> There's another kind of card that does the same thing. Let me see if, if your card has it. No, it doesn't have it. You know, I will just look in the deck here. <laughs> that would take uh, Last time? seal, seal. There's another one here. Penguin? Huh? Get it? <laughs> Maybe you know what it is. I bet you it's it's a, a, a term that's used for the demons. Oh, could be, honey. Yeah. I don't know. There Mark. Is. Yeah, that's what I was trying to remember. So in the competitive mode. Uh, demons have the same thing. They just get what's called a mark. It works just like a seal. Mm. It's a permanent ability they get until the demon dies. All right, so back to how the <laughs> cards work. Uh, you're going to play all your cards. The demon's going to play the two cards. Demon goes, and then the, then the knight goes. That's next in order. So I could either use the top part or the bottom part. Or I can flip it over, discard it, and use the minor side. So the minor side... You see here, it has all these icons. I can do a melee attack. That's the sword on the left. I can do a ranged attack. I can then do a movement or increase my shield by one. I can heal one and I can heal an ally. That means a stone golem or an elder or another knight. And then I can get one magic. So if I, if I say I don't have any cards with magic on it, I can discard two cards, use the two magic right there, right here and here, and then uh, use his ability. Hmm which is deal two damage to one adjacent enemy, then deal one damage to one enemy adjacent to the first target. Uh, so you have three ways you use cards. The basic one always comes back, and I either move, heal, or get a magic. I can use the top part, so I have two movement, two movement, or two magic, or I can use the bottom part. And if I really want to, and you can use your ability as many times as you want, I think I said that already. It's a very important rule to remember especially if you want to win this game. Uh, I can use this card for two magic, do my Furious Bolt, do, uh, do, do this card for two damage, and then I can turn this one over and use this magic and this magic and do my Furious Bolt again. So it's, it's a very much a hand management game where you want to use your, your uh, cards to the best ability to do the most damage, to destroy uh, demons, because that's how we get victory points. Uh, so what does defense mean? Why do we have defense? This is really cool. This makes it, makes it uh, uh, knights are going to want to protect the elders. Because remember, every time an elder dies, the demon goes up two victory points. So you don't want that to happen. So let's say a demon's going to attack with a ranged attack, an adjacent attack against a demon. If I'm adjacent or Julie's adjacent to that elder, I can spend, uh, say, the demon's going to do two damage against that elder in an adjacent attack. I can go into the room and absorb that damage with one shield and take one damage. So if I have at least one shield and I'm adjacent to that room or I'm in the same room as where, where, where that elder's getting attacked, I can rush in there or stay in there. Obviously, if I'm in there already, if the imp attacks, I can, I can use my shield to absorb the damage and protect the elder. Mm -hmm. And then if I had four uh, shields, I can go in there and take the two damage and take, or I can just take one shield and take one damage. I get to decide how, because the only time 
that you can go out of turn is when you have a shield to protect an elder. Uh, there was some other something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, engagement. So if you've played other miniature games like Star Wars miniatures, we have what's called Attack of Opportunity. Uh, if there are enemies in your location, you are engaged. In order to move out of that room though, you will take one damage from each enemy in that room to leave the room. However, this is why I'm bringing it up now. If you're using your defense ability, you can leave the room without dealing with, without taking disengagement damage to defend somebody. Or if a demon moves you, for instance, there's ways demons will move knights. If, if there's an imp in here and I'm forced to leave because some demon uses the ability, I don't take disengagement damage. So the point is this. If you want to leave a room and there's an enemy in there, you will take damage. And you can use your shields to absorb damage if you want to instead of your hearts. Uh, but that would be unwise because you want to keep your shields to defend the, uh, the elders. I think that's about it for the, the, the basic rules. The only other thing I want to go over here is I marked a few pages. The rule book is, is decent. Uh, there's just some areas where things are uh, a little out of place. And so you'll see here is the cooperative mode page. And that's where I put it here. Do not use the demon power cards, but keep track, but use them to keep track of the health. But you'll see there's three little tabs here. I'm going to mention the page numbers in case you're following along here. On page 14, demons cannot get slowed. In a co in, co uh, in cooperative mode, in com competitive mode, if Julie was playing the demon, she would have three cards and a basic action card too. And if I were to play slow her, she would have to flip over one of her uh, demon power cards. But in the cooperative mode, when a demon gets slowed, the demon just takes another damage. Okay, so that's a very important rule to remember. That's why it's marked. Also, when you're talking about engagement, that's why I have page 15 marked right here. An engagement, it says in cooperative mode. Engagement does, it, does apply to demons when they move because they're instructed to buy a cooperative card. Okay. So they can lose damage too. Mm. Uh, I'll explain how movement works in a minute. And then the last thing, if you we were playing with the terrain tiles, the effects on terrain tiles, which is oh. what recommends not doing. This is on page 22. If playing cooperative mode, enemies ignore the water when moving. So they ignore this. Oh, okay. Okay, that tile right there. So those are the three things. So there's one, there's... There's on the page, on the cooperative page here, it talks about how the demon, the AI cards, how does a demon uh, decide how it's going to move and engage enemies. It doesn't, it, when all things are equal, it's, it's go, oh, first off, it's always going to go after what the AI card says, move to a space or attack a space it's going to go after the elder that's undefended. So, does it say on the card here? No, it doesn't. It says in the book here. And I'll show it on page 24. There's a hierarchy. Undefended elder. Defended uh -huh. elder, that means by a knight or a stone golem. Okay. Uh, goes after a golem. Or goes after a knight. So it actually will engage knights last mm. if it had a choice. <clears throat> However, what's not clear in the rule book, and I could have missed it, but I don't think I did. And you can tell me down below if I missed it. Uh, what if things are equal? You have one, two, three, four undefended uh, elders. Mm. So let's say this demon's going to move. Yeah. We're, we're saying at the 12 o'clock is where it will start and then go like this. Now, it does say that a demon must do all of its move, even if it's in a space for the undefended elder. Say this demon has to move too. It still will leave the space 
and it will go clockwise towards the next, next undefended, we're saying clockwise, uh, well actually it does say clockwise, but clockwise from what? What position? 12? You know, mm -hmm. 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock? Uh, well, hey, hang on. 12, <laughs> <laughs> 9, 3, or 6. Right. I don't know which, okay, right. which way are we starting from? 12. But the point is this. We're saying that 12 will be the, where it will go if all spaces are equal opportunity. Okay? But if it's starting here, it would move two spaces clockwise. So it would go 1, 2 to this one because this one's undefended too. So it would leave the space. It's very specific in the rules that it will leave the space that it's in. It will move and then do its attack. So keep that in mind that we're adding that little rule in here that uh, if, we're, if, if it has two equal spaces to go to, we, we go to the 12 o'clock position. So now we're gonna start here. <laughs> it's a lot, huh, guys? Uh, it, it, it plays very smoothly. Now we're gonna go over it the is. cards as, as we go along here. I am putting my glasses back on because I have to read these right. cards and the writing's a little small for my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna show, first we start out with the first demon here. Okay. And hopefully she's, her cards aren't too bad here. I hope not. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. First thing she's gonna do. Okay. Is her desecration. Ooh. So let's see what that is. Okay. Deal one damage to each close and adjacent elder. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so we're, we're going to do that first. Okay. We don't like to read the cards ahead. Mm -mm. It's confusing. Because first off, we're trying to give an advantage to the AI and we don't want to get too fiddly here with going, well, we know that it's going to do this action and this action. Yeah. We just read the first one and just yep. do it. Uh, so it's doing one damage. There's no close enemy mm -hmm. here enemy of the demon okay <laughs> obviously for us the en enemies are the demons uh now i'm going to go in here and use my defense okay i absorb that damage i def i protected this guy i'll do the same uh yeah go in there and julie's going to lower her defense by one unfortunately this elder took a oh, damage pooey. and this elder took a damage hmm. because it said to each close and adjacent elder yeah Okay, so we did that first action. Yep, it's next. So we got two elders that are damaged by one. Okay, sl uh, slow, close, and adjacent knights. Well, unfortunately, by going in there to defend them. So we didn't read that, <laughs> but that's that's, good. that's better. Yeah. So now we take our three cards and randomly turn one upside down. And it's not terrible. We still can use the other side of the card. However, I just lost my, my uh, seal power. Mm, but I kept my arrows, so I, that was good yeah, for me. I didn't. I didn't. You got to keep it up like this. Sweetie. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Because it's got when you flip it over. Well, your name's in the way down there. That's why. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Now we do its third action. Okay. Oh, it's a third action. Now, Oof. It doesn't affect. Oh, there was no stone golems there anyway. Okay. okay. Next power. I say next thing. Heal yourself. When it says yourself, that means the demon. Ah. And all close and adjacent allies, that would be the uh, imps. Okay. Well, that's good that it got this now because nobody's because none of them are damaged. Yeah. So that card wasted was wasted. Ha. One reason why we moved in there to uh, to defend the elders because now we're close to kill, to attack the mm -hmm. demons. Uh, we, we don't want to stay in the corners because then we'd have to use cards to move anyway. Yep. Okay. Now we do the demons. Oh. Minor. Power. What is it? What does that one say? Use your magic ability. See right there, dark gift. Oh, boogers. What is it? Dark gift. Dark gift. Well, its magic power is deal two damage to an adjacent enemy and then move them to your tile. Oof. All right. Unfortunately, this is where it's not clear. These are, oh, to an adjacent enemy. These two are adjacent. It's not going to go here because we're defending them. Mm. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to say this one got damaged. Now it's down this much. And then we move it to her, don't we? Right. So that demon went in there. Oh, I thought we moved that. Oh, yeah, you're right. There. Oh, thank you. I, I misread that. Oh, you're fine. All right. So use your magic. 
And that was, again, I got to make sure I carried it out right. Moving to your tile. All right, so that demon just went. Okay. Now it's, we're going in order. Now my knight goes. I have these two cards to do my magic. Deal two damage to one adjacent enemy, and then deal one damage to one enemy adjacent to the first target. All right, so that's okay. I'm going to do two, I'm going to use these two cards. I'm using this side's magic and my basic magic. So I just put this off the side. I'm going to get that basic card back, but this one gets discarded. And I do two damage to her. Nice. And here's the adjacent enemy uh, into one adjacent enemy. Not in the same. Mm -hmm. This is close. All right. This other demon's in the cl is close. I can do this imp or this imp. I can even. I, I assume I could even. One? I assume I can even do this imp too. Uh, I would say do this one because there's no one there blocking anything. Yeah, it's a good idea. Now, normally imps <laughs> are supposed to be. Uh, everybody's supposed to be up. When a stone golem or an imp takes damage, mm -hmm. they lay down. So instead, I'm just going to take, uh, I'm going to put one of these on there. Okay. To show that it's hurt. Because again, we want to show you where everything is in the game. Well, doesn't he die? Does he take a hit? He has to get, takes two, he takes oh. one hit. He has one left. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's damaged. Okay. Uh, that works better. Okay, now what's my next here? I have deal two damage to a diagonal enemy. Right there, that guy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to damage this guy instead. Okay. And I'll kill this guy. Nice. This guy's dead. Yay. Okay. So I got an imp. Good job. Okay, so I did this card. Don't we get to go up on the thing? Because we can't. No, him. imps don't give you victory points. Oh, I'm okay. glad you said that because some people might think that too. Okay, ensure. Deal two damage to one adjacent enemy and slow them. So I'll hit her again. Okay. One, two, and slow. Oh, actually it does three because slow doesn't affect them. Oh. That's that special exception in the cooperative game. But so isn't she dead now? No. Oh. She has one left. Oh. You should be able to get her. Okay. Unless your demon heals her, I don't which is a possibility. Oh, now, yes it does. Uh, Why, do you have a card that heals? The soul stealer says deal one damage to two different close or adjacent enemies, then heal yourself one. Well, it's yourself. Oh, not your, not okay. Your ally. Okay, so I get my basic card back. All right. And I immediately draw three more because I can get slowed uh -huh. on my turn. And by the way, if you lose a knight, you still keep your four cards. Even if one's slowed, and then when your next knight comes in, you still have those four cards. So that knight would start with one slowed card. Well, at least so, they have the cards already, though. Right. Well, it's it's a way to avoid, like, uh, it makes it more fair that why would your knight have your new knight, you know, come in with four fresh cards? It's, right. it's just it's just a better way to do it. Yeah. All right. So now your demon's going to go. Okay. So what see. about? Do you want to read what those? No, because no? I'm okay. only going to read it unless. Okay. Okay. So here we go. All right. Her demon's in the same room as the seal. Yes. Move all knights clockwise, and slow them. Oh, pooey. Well, you already got one slow. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to do a slow here. Do I have to make another one slow? No, you can only have one slow oh, okay. at a time. Oh, good, good. And then we have to move our guys clockwise? Yes, so I go here. And, and go here. here? Okay. All right, so we did that. Yep. What's next? The next one. Move all elders counterclockwise, and then deal two damage to a close or, or adjacent enemy. Uh, so we all move them counterclockwise. Isn't that clockwise? Oh, you're right. My mistake. What about this one? Where does she go? Or he go? I don't know. What would be clockwise well, I guess we'll for say, them? I guess we'll say that it's the 12 o'clock position. Okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, because unless I, it's I in the know. rules and I missed it, I don't... I don't know where it starts. In other words, where the clock starts. So if you guys know, please let us know in the right. comments. Uh, all right, now deal two damage to a close or adjacent enemy. Now, I would have did two damage to this one. Oh, yeah. Now, adjacent enemy, we're starting at the 12 o'clock position because right. 
adjacent, adjacent, adjacent. These are not defended because we got pushed out of those rooms. Exactly. Uh, and we don't have any. Uh, you used your shield. I, I don't have any shield left. You did. Remember, you went into the room. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and you took one damage for him. Yeah. So this guy gets hit for two more. Oh gosh. Because that's what the demon would do. No, yeah. only, that guy only has one left. Well, why doesn't that guy take it too? Because it's only one uh, oh, okay. to a close or adjacent enemy. It doesn't oh, say okay. enemies. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, where's the other card? You took it. Oh, I have it right here. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the minor ability. Okay. Move one, move one unless on a tile with an elder and deal three damage to a close enemy. So this is... Uh, The AI, he's going to go in here. Oh, darn. Okay. Yeah. And this guy dies. But here's a good thing. Hmm. The, the damage doesn't roll over. Oh. He did basically three damage to a guy that only needed one more left. Okay. Unfortunately, the demons went up too. Oh, darn it. So we lost. We lost a person? We lost a guy. We lost an elder. Can they come back? No. Oh. Unless there's a card that I'm, I'm, I'm aware of. Okay. I don't, I don't think so. Oh, right, pooey. We haven't played all these cards yet. Right. All right. But hey, you get to go. Okay. Well, um... I'm here, but I can't shoot at anybody. Well, let's see your cards. All right. Well, one of them's upside down, honey. That's okay. Okay. So this is what Julie has. She has a range attack of two on the top, or she can choose two close or adjacent enemies. Deal one damage to each of them and move them each one. Okay, that's one thing she can do. Mm -hmm. She can do two range attack. Or she can heal two. Now you can heal your allies too. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good to this know. one, remember, this is her card. She had slowed. She can move one, which she'll probably do. Yeah. And this one here. And uh, what's your uh, your magic ability again? That's the top one? Yeah. Uh, Holy Bolt. I deal two damage to one adjacent enemy. Heal two to an ally close to the target and heal two two what do you mean it says heal like the number two to an ally oh, close got it. to the <laughs> when you're reading it it sounds like you're saying two two twice i did <laughs> i know but you know what i mean i know uh so she's still in here yeah but i don't know how to get to her well we can move one okay you can shoot her okay and then move one again and shoot this guy sure Let's do that. Uh, hang on. Okay. Choose two close or adjacent enemies. Deal one damage to each of them. See, it's too bad they're not in the same room. I know. You could have killed poopy. that. Poopy. I know. Okay. Well, you'll play this card. So move, move one. one. Okay. Oh, hey, wait. I forgot something. What did you forget? When the elder died. Yeah. I have retribution. <gasps> Ooh, what Deal you... two damage to a close or adjacent enemy when another knight or elder is killed. Sweet. And where it was I? right here. So I did. But you're, I don't know where you she, are. He went in there. I'm right here. Okay. He went in there and killed yes. him. So I just did two damage to him. Nice. So it makes you wonder, should we go kill him instead? Yeah, we yeah, should. Yeah, let's kill him first. Uh, because she's almost dead. Yeah, we get. Hmm. So what if I moved? Hang on, let me see your ability again. Okay. I was going to heal two, turn it like close to target. Healing aura. Heal yourself or a close ally when you move to a new tile. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. You got to remember that ability is always in effect. Okay. Uh, hang on. Heal yourself or a close ally when you move to a new tile. Okay. So what if I move there? And shoot there, and then move again, and shoot that guy. Can I shoot twice? Well, we can kill that guy. He's down to a. He's down four. Four. Because he's in a room with an elder. Okay. Well, let's just. Okay. So, so, you, so she's gonna play this card to move one. One. She's gonna get it back anyway. Then I move again. Yeah. And you use this card. Okay. And then. Choose two close to adjacent enemies. See, there's, none of them are together. So you're going to hit this guy twice. So yeah. she moved with this card. One, two. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'll go oh, back yeah, to yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing. He was already down. He's at four. Right there. Yeah. So you're going to do a range attack at two. Yep. So I'll go okay. down. One, two. And another range attack at two. One, so two. He's dead. dead. All right. He's toast. So he goes off the board. Yes. These cards go away. And we get to go up one. We go up one victory point. Yeah, hits. Now, the only sad thing about this is that she might heal. Oh, pooey. Yeah, that's not good. All right, but we get a new demon right away. Okay. So let's show you who it is. Bob. <laughs> Bob the demon. You got horned. Horned demoness. demoness. Ooh, she does not look. Okay, well, anyway, she starts with uh, six life as well. I think it's this lady right here. Okay. So, uh, unlike the competitive rules, the demon reappears in the same space that they were killed. Hmm. All right, so we're done. You yeah. get your three cards. All right. Cloud step. I can move two. And I ignore you and your allies, me and... and Ignore engagement until your next turn. Ooh, that's a good one. See, it's too bad the tiles you moved into. Yeah. None of them were damaged. The, mm -hmm. the elders. Well, you know. All right, now we do end of round. Okay. Knight gains one point. Oh wait, Go did I move the wrong one? Hang on, the knight, the demons here. Oh, we're together. And then we went up one. We went up one. So we're only one ahead of them. Because in case I'm confusing people. Aren't we? The demon went up two for killing an elder. Yeah. We went one for killing a demon, and we went up one just right now for surviving the round. Uh, Okay, stone golems get two actions. Nice. Okay, one, two, kill this guy. Sweet. Uh, let me put it back in its stand. Okay. Can that go there and damage the lady that oh, we just yeah. got? Oh, yeah. Good job. It's a good job remembering. One, two, gets this demon, and she's dead. The new one I just did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm mistaken. Hang on. It's too bad we don't have a, 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 sto a golem that can get there. Can't he go in there again? You mean they just killed that no. thing? No. Oh, okay. I, you're, I guess we should put her, put her down by one and forget the imp. Okay. Now, unfortunately, though. Yeah. The imps get to go. I was thinking that because that, they're both red. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, we almost could have killed her if the stone golem was in another room. Darn. All right, so our golems took their actions. Yeah. Now, if the golem was injured, the golem would have to have healed first. Oh, okay. So the golem did one movement point and then did a melee attack. Yep. This golem did one movement point, did a melee attack, killed that imp. Yes. Now, the imps get two actions. One imp, so this imp attacks twice. Oh, but This elder. Yeah. And if I had a shield, I could have went in there to, to defend it. Oh, darn. How, how do we get more shields? we got to use cards. Gotcha. Now, at the end of the turn, another imp comes in oh, into the seal. Darn it. Oh, I forgot to... Now we got to give the cards for... So next round. Okay. Here we go. Does my lady get cards too or not till my turn? Oh, hang on a second. Okay. I'm just looking at camera uh, we don't need to know your cards yet okay although we're forgetting to do the engagement the demons weren't the demons weren't when they moved weren't in a spot let me just make sure of this uh, the demons weren't in a spot So the demons could be taking damage when they move out of our space. Mm. And if I remember, I could have missed one, but I don't think there were any demons with any any bad guys. I were don't there? think so. I don't think so. No, because we no. moved our guys to defend elders, and yeah. this is the only guy that moved in there, and they didn't move back and forth. Great, uh, great. We moved <clears throat> the elders and the knights, but yeah. we've got to remember to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, so here's the first card, face up. Okay. Second card is flipped over, backwards. Okay. All right, so let's see what she does. Oh boy, I'm scared. All right. And we like this to read one at a time here. Add two Add M's. two M's, oh, that sucks. That does suck. They go to the seal, I assume. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and what's next? It doesn't specify. 
Until the end of your next turn, whenever a demon or imp is killed, they deal two damage to a close enemy. Oh, wow. Oh, shibby doobies. Uh, that stinks. Whenever a demon or imp is killed. Yeah. So they kind of explode. Or but, noxious right. pustules. <laughs> so in other words, they're like... Like full of zits or something. Yeah, big like gross. acidic zits. Ew. Nasty. Well, All that right. stinks for us. Well, at least we know. Yeah. Still this this girl him. only has one life left. I know, we gotta get rid of her. Okay, here's the secondary ab ability. Okay. Deal damage to all close and adjacent enemies. This damage can't be defended. Oh, wow. Malignant gas. Wow, that's interesting that both cards had to do with gas. She's yeah. very gaseous. She's very gaseous. She might have had a lot of beans. I was thinking the same thing. All right, so. Or asparagus. This. Golem took one. I took one. You took one. You're down one. Okay. And you can't be defended. Oh darn! Even I'm, I'm, I'm diagonal. And it's all. It says deal damage to. You're not diagonal. This is. Oh, I. Can, you know, this is a sad thing when you have. I did not lose one. I keep on thinking it's this girl. I didn't lose one either. No, you didn't. My mistake. That's okay. Uh, where's that card? Right here? I don't know. You just had it. Yeah. Close and adjacent means it can't be defended. Okay. I did do that right here. I forget. I'm not it's adjacent. This, it's this one. Yeah. Okay. So this elder takes one. This elder takes one. And you know this you're elder adjacent. takes one. And this guy will take one too. This guy takes one too. Yeah. All right, so I should be able to get now her. Now I can put this the right way for you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so what do I have here? I have two melee attack here. I'm going to go kick her butt. Uh, Remember, you'd be kicking my demons, but... Well, we'll see. Okay. Gain one defense and move one. Ah. This movement ignores engagement, Ooh. and you may move a close ally with you. Oh. Uh, so... That's if I'm in the same room with a golem or with you. Right. Or an elder. Yep. Here's my other card. Okay. So Move directly it. to any other tile. Oh. And I have a slowed card. Hmm. I don't have any... Let's think about this. I do have my retribution. Deal two, and I can I can do two magic. Do two damage and to one adjacent enemy, and then deal one damage to one enemy adjacent to the first target. That'd be perfect. All right, so I'm going to do this first. Okay. I'm going to use my two magic here. Okay. My basic and this card that's flipped over. Nice. I do two damage to her. Okay. I'm going to do one damage to her. And she's dead. But then she explodes and. Did the deal one? Okay. Deal one damage to one enemy adjacent to the first target. Okay, so she's gone now, but that damage. Oh, it's this one. Whenever a demon or imp is killed, they deal two damage to a close enemy. There's no close enemies here, so Ooh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah. I was going to go in there and hit her, and I would have taken two damage, yeah. so that was a better thing that to do. That was awesome. Okay. She's chosen. We get to move up one. Yes, we do. Uh, shield step. Gain one defense and move one. That's a good one. And then I could try to heal. Yeah. Heal maybe this guy. He's down quite a bit. But I want to kill this demon. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you're right about that. I can go over there and kill it. Yeah, I'm going to go here. I think you're right. I gain one defense mm -hmm. and move one. Nice. I don't have an ally to take with me. That's okay. And move directly, and then I can heal too. So I'll heal him too. Yeah, that'll be good. That's nice. Okay. Very nice. Uh, you know, I better keep this out. Okay. To remind us. All right, so I get my basic card back. Get three new cards. So I can either move two in the future mm -hmm. or get two range attack, which is nice. That is nice. And I have a defense at least. Yeah, that is good down okay oh I have to replace her yep so she's 
she's gone. Here's the new bad guy. Storm Fiend. Here you go. And so he just reappeared here. Yeah. Okay, he has six as well. Ugh. All right. So now your demon goes. And your demon's right here. All right, you remember how to flip it. I watched you. All right, so let's see what happens. So Julie's demon, that's right here, is going. There she's you right here. See. Oh, yeah, you're right. See, that's why I need you to help me. There she is. <laughs> I'm glad I'm helpful. What does she do? Okay. Deal one damage to all close enemies. Oh, no. Our little guy dies. So it's just Stone just, Golem's gone. And this guy goes down the Oh, yeah. Now, you could rush in there. Um, yeah, I could do that. No, I don't want to do that. You don't have a shield. I don't want to do that. And also, too, because I can sh I can deal two damage to one adjacent enemy and slow them down. Okay. So I'm not going to move. So uh, you don't have a shield to do it no, anyway. No, I don't. And I'm too far away. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next okay. ability. Change to a new demon. Draw a random demon from the demon deck keep your same health heal yourself to add an imp well, that that's sucks. weird okay so we take a random demon i'm just gonna take it off the top yeah this works and so this demon is going to be at f three five because it heals so you got blood shade that's this chick right here so demon pops in and out you heal two and you get an imp there's no other imps so we're at maximum count All right so now we got a new one. Now we'll see if that was good or bad because now the minor ability comes into play. Use your magic ability. <laughs> see? No, oh, no. Okay, what does she do? She's at five. Let's show it on camera here. Okay. She deals something. Yeah, let me turn it right. Okay. Deal one damage to a close knight or elder then gain two health this is the only way to raise your health above so she's gonna be at seven this so guy's going close down knight or elder that's only one damage honey okay so the elder gets hit you can't get in there to defend it now no. she's at seven because she was at because she was at three when she came in but she healed right. two and now she healed two again by doing that special power oh, stinker well it's okay now you get to go and all these imps oh. are going to get to move and F with things, for lack of a better word. Well, this one, I can deal two damage to one adjacent enemy and slow them. Slow so just does an additional like, damage. So it can so do that? So let's take a look at all your cards. Okay, here's this We one. already know about your basic yeah. card, what it does. Let's take a look here. Okay. Well, you have a range attack. Well, she has seven life. The other demon has six, if okay. you're able to move one. So now we know you can do two. Well, you could also heal an ally, one, increase the healing to two if you're not engaged. I'd rather shoot twice at it. Right. Well, that's you can get two shields, or you can draw uh, deal two damage to one adjacent enemy and slow them. That'd that be means five. it'd be three, so that'd be five. And this would be seven. So you I guess you it. can kill her. Yep. I'll do that. Move to, so. All right, so that's kind of settled. We're done. Okay, so... You're going to do two range attack on her. Mm -hmm. You do two damage to one adjacent enemy and slow them, so that's three. Got it. In the cooperative game. And then you do two more range attack, so she's gone. She's toast. And we get to move up on here. Okay, so we moved up again. Yep. Uh, that was fun. She came in and she got butt kicked. Well, we got another one coming in. I know. Oh, we haven't had this guy. Molten Scion. Ooh, he looks Scion. So yucky. Here's who he is. He that's has nine. Gross. That's Ooh, really, that's, that's not cool. Oh, that's not going to be good. Okay, uh -huh. but you have your basic action. Yeah. You can move, heal, or one magic's not going to help you. No. Um, I'll stay where I am, I guess. I, I don't know. What, what do you think I should do? Well, the imps are going to go attack. So go down there. Okay. That works. Yeah. Okay, you get your basic back. All right. And here's your three cards because okay. you can get it slowed. Yeah. All right. Okay. This guy goes. This new guy that came in. Already? Look. You don't go first? 
What are you talking about? Oh, you just went. That's I just right. went. My mistake. I totally And doesn't that card go away now? The the one that we have Oh, wait. Two load? damage just got got did did there. Until the end of your turn's turn, whenever a demon or an imp is killed, deal two damage to the close enemy. So this guy just took two. I think he's dead. No, he's down to one. Okay. Well, that's the way it goes. All right, yeah. so we survived. We're up to here. Oh, we're almost done. Stone golems do two actions. Okay. Well. Did we ever get a stone golem? We did, didn't we? I don't know. Stone golem on the corner. Didn't we move him? No, I don't think we got that other stone golem. All right. Because uh, there's no way it would have died. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. Because here's, here's the thing. I think we forgot to place it. Okay. Because it would be here, 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 or here, right? Right. Do you see any stone golem in that corner? No. So we forgot to do it. Okay. So uh, I assume we would have put it. Let's say we put it here. Sure. Okay. That works. Uh, golems get two actions. We should move there and kick that that little guy's butt. Well, then go here and hit the imp once. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We can go in here, hit the imp once. That works. We can't hit all of them. No. All right. All right. So our golems went. Okay. Now they get to go. Those little okay, M's get two action. They, so you must, they must heal. Oops, destroying the board. <laughs> so this one heals. Yeah. And does one damage. But you could block it. I will block it to protect that elder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this M heals. Mm -hmm. And it will go here clockwise and kill this guy. So it goes up too. Oh two. no. But now I get to attack. I get my retribution, deal two damage. Oh, by the way, did you remember to do, you didn't move anywhere, did you? Uh, you did. You moved right here. Yeah. So you healed this guy. What does it say? You heal, right? When you move to a spot? Heal yourself or a close ally one when you move to a new okay, tile. So you, you healed that guy. Do I heal uh, this up too? No, I, oh. heard, I healed the elder. Oh, that guy. Okay. Because you only moved one tile. Gotcha. All right, so I get my retribution, deal two damage to one adjacent enemy, then do, oh, sorry, that's, right, that's my bolt. Deal two damage to a close or adjacent enemy whenever another knight or, or elder is killed. You want to pick on the storm guy? Well, we only need three more victory points. So we should just kill these two demons as quick as possible. All right, we'll then give two. I'll hit him. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice to kill an imp because they're going to go in and, and mm -hmm. do bad things. Uh, so clockwise... It's going to go to a spot where it's undefended. Right. Here. Well, his is undefended. You can't go diagonal. One. Here. One. Mm -hmm. I could have killed an imp, but I'd rather kill the demons and win the game. Yeah, I think so. That's and not worry plan. about the imps. Because also, too, with four imps being out, they're not going to be able to generate more imps. True, true. So they'll, they'll lose those powers. That's true. All right, now it's the next turn. Okay. Oh, place one imp on seal. Well... They yeah. don't have one to do that, so ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this demon, Storm Fiend, is going to go. Oh, okay. Do, do, oh, we do it face up and then this way. Let's see what this guy does. Okay. What does it say? Ban Crescent. Bane Crescent. Bane Crescent. Deal three damage to a diagonal enemy and then trade places with him. Wow. Oh, shibby doobies. Uh... We gotta go clockwise. Yeah, and then trade places with them. Okay. Hmm. And there was oh, he gets engagement. And he takes one hit. Sweet. Yeah. Again, I just want to show you where it says that. It's on page fifteen. Cooperative engagement does apply to demons when they move because they're instructed to buy a cooperative card. Yes. So it just moved. I can kill him, too. Deal two damage to an adjacent enemy. Well, it goes right here. Now, you can you can absorb that. 
Or we can just not worry about it. I don't worry about it. You'd rather keep your knight? Yeah. Okay, then take two damage off that guy. Wow. Maybe pick up the guy next time. Okay, look, pick up the guy. And uh, that way you don't destroy the board, okay? Okay, you guys know it's getting to be almost an hour. <laughs> so you know I'm getting a little punchy <laughs> and tired, very tired. Okay, move one. So here's this miner. Move one and deal two damage to a close enemy. Oh, should we do this? So it does a charge. The only spot it can go. Is there with me and that guy? So. And it, so you wanted to, I would take the two damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you defend. Yep. Because you'll get another knight if you die. I know. I know. It, that's. Oh, but then it will get a victory point. Yeah. So. so I'm trying not to. But you might be able to heal. Okay. All right. So I go now. Yes. All right. So my cards, I have two range attack. If I leave here, the imp's going to do one damage to me. But I can get that guy. Well, I could get him too. I can deal two damage to a close enemy. I just want to mess with this big bruiser. He's got nine. I uh, know. Uh, so I have two range, two movement, two heal, wrath. Deal three dam damage to a close enemy. You may not heal yourself or allies for the rest of your turn. Interesting. Heal any one ally and move them one. I also, this is two magic. I do two damage to one adjacent enemy and then deal one damage to an enemy adjacent to it. But you're not adjacent. I could do... You have to move. Yeah, everything's all spread out. Mm -hmm. So my magic's going to be worthless. Mm -hmm. You have to move over. Hmm. Well, I can get this guy. Well, I'll go get him. But i got to be close. Do you have enough feet to move over? I have... I'm going to use this one. Well, I'll use this one to move one, my basic. Okay. I take one damage. Okay. Or I can use my shield if I want to, but I'm not going to. Okay, I moved in there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do... Two. You're controlling that one. Oh yeah, he's got three, huh? Mm -hmm. I have to move again. I really want to kill him. Well, if you weaken him enough, I can kill him on my turn. Well, first what I'll do is, I'm gonna hit this guy with two. Okay. Or I can kill an imp. No, but see, the golem is gonna kill the imp. Yep. I can shoot this imp. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this imp. All right. Okay. You know why? Why? You don't want that guy to die. Okay. Okay, I shoot that imp. All right. All right. And then I'm going to flip this over to move one again. Okay. Okay. I just get confused sometimes. That's okay. I, I know. So I move one again. All right. I move into here. Deal three damage to a close enemy. You may not heal yourself or allies for the rest of the turn. So I'll keep it like this. This guy's gone. And we get to move up again. Move up one. Just two more. And now we're both in there. And this guy's gone. Yes. Where's the next demon? Mm. Frozen Lurker. I don't... Hang on. It's right here, honey. Is that this guy? Oh, is it? It looks like that guy. We haven't gotten this guy yet. And look, he has a track. <laughs> hmm. So we won't worry about that unless the AI says something about it. Okay. But he's a five. Yeah. That's not so bad. I guess I better read it. Spend two ice to deal two damage. Okay. All right. So you got ice. Gain two ice at the start of your turn. Block one. All right. So this is if you're playing that demon as a competitive player. Oh, okay. And that's where this little thing comes into play. Oh, okay. Okay. A little icon. But we're not doing that? Right, we're not doing that. Okay. Uh, so he starts at five. He just popped in. Yep. And I get my basic card back. And now it's this creepy guy's turn. Right. I got to get my cards in yep, case I I'm get slowed. Yep, So I can't heal. All right, so let's see. His main power. Okay. He's a pretty... Yep. Okay. 
Deal three damage to a diagonal enemy. Then two damage to an adjacent enemy. Wow. Well, to a diagonal. hell. Uh, he goes after... Let's see the turn order again okay. here. Because one is defended by Gom and one is... Well, the Golems don't defend. The Knights defend. Knights defend. So, undefended Elder, defended Elder. This guy's undefended. He goes first. He gets hit three he, times. He gets hit three. One, two, three. And then this guy gets hit twice. One, two. And that's it. He's The card's done. Okay. Well, that was pretty bad. There's that one. Now, here's the Miner. Miners don't seem to be so minor, though. I know. Move one and use your magic ability. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yay, yay. That guy's going to be dead. Well, he goes clockwise. And what's his magic ability? It's this guy, it's, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. He deals two damage to a close enemy and move them one. No one's there with him, so two, it's two damage to a close enemy and move them one, then lose one health. So it's he, well. Why, why am I moving clockwise? He, he's going to go towards. I'm sorry, he goes towards the enemy. I mean, he goes towards the. Uh, so, I did that wrong. He always goes towards. Okay. An elder, move one and use your magic. So he moves here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deal two damage to a close enemy. He's dead. And move them one. Then. Then lose one health. Well, he did lose one health one doing health. that. Good. So he's dead. Yep. He goes up two. Yep. And I get to do my retribution. Yes. I will hit this guy. Do it. Boom, boom. Because you might be able to kill him. Oh, I totally could kill him. Because it's my turn now? Yes. Deal two damage to a close enemy and, and one damage to a different close enemy. Okay, in a second. You to deal one damage to all enemies there. Oh, deal two. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, let me see all your all your powers. Sure. Because we got to do uh, three damage to this guy. This is what Julie has. She can get two shields. Okay. Now I could have rushed. You know what? I could have rushed in there. Yeah. But she didn't want to. Because I'd rather do two damage to this guy. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's who okay. I'm going to beat up on, too. Because I did have one defense. Yeah. Okay, so Julia can get two defense, but he, she's going to do two damage to a close enemy and one damage to a different close enemy. Uh, there isn't another no, close no, enemy. No, unfortunately, there isn't one. Uh, this is movement and shields. So I'll get two shields. This is melee attack. Heal a close ally. It can't be me because I can't heal this turn. You may not take ranged attack actions for the rest of the turn. So you got to do this last. Yeah. If you... So we're just going to kill that guy. Well, first thing you do... Is this one. Okay. So we move damage. down two. Boom, boom. And then... Uh, you can do flip this over. Oh, wait. You can flip over this card. Okay. And do a range attack. Uh, do two damage. Oh, do, actually Jason. do a melee attack. I'm sorry. Okay. What does that say, your, your thing? Deal two damage to one adjacent enemy, heal two to an ally close to the target. But see, we we're trying to kill this guy. you got to yeah. do a melee attack. All right. Because uh, what you did is you flipped over the card, Yeah. did a melee attack. Okay. We don't want to do adjacent attacks. Okay. All right. So this guy's gone. Yes. And we're one away from winning. Yes. Uh so another demon comes in. And then I heal a close ally three. Well, we're not there yet. Let me oh. do this first, please. Okay. Feral Reaver. We haven't had this guy before. He starts with seven. What does he look like? Oh, he's up here. Oh, is this guy right here? Okay, so he just came in. Mm. All right, so now you have this card left. Yeah. Heal close ally three. You could heal the elder. You would not take range attacks, or you could do two... Melee damage. I'll do two on that guy. Right? Should I do that? Or should we heal? I think we should heal just in case. Okay. Right? Okay, sure. I'm good with that. Because if they if they kill if they manage to kill two more things somehow with their imps. Yeah, yeah. And you use this for a melee attack. So oh, it came okay. back. Okay. Alright, it came back. Alright. 
And then okay. I get three new cards. All right. One, two. You know, I forgot to place a stone golem again. Tack on it. I'll just put it right here. I okay. keep on forgetting to do that. All right. So you guys got to remember to do that. I'm, I'm the one forgetting. Well, it's because he's helping <laughs> me so much, so that's why. Okay. Nate, Knights gain one point, and so we just won. <gasps> we did it! But I'd say we were keep on going here. Stone golems get two actions. Dead. They can both move into here. Kill this one. Uh, Imp would get two actions. We just move around. Mm -hmm. I should go here. Another imp would come in. Well, see, I forgot to do the stone golem again. Another imp would come in, and that would be it. But we uh, we just won. We did it! Woo! Now, if they were to manage to have killed more elders, this guy was almost dead. Yeah. And this guy was almost dead. They would have won. But we won. All right. We're the best. So let me know if I forgot anything. This is the second time playing. Okay. Doesn't mean we're perfect. Not at all. But I think we got most of it right. I think we did. And uh, David, you did an awesome job teaching it. I appreciate oh, thank that. You, yes. Now, keep in mind that that rule where we're saying that if all things equal, we go, we start with the 12 o'clock. Maybe there's yeah. something in the rules that says otherwise. I don't okay. remember seeing it, but maybe you can let me know in the. Uh, well, I didn't read the rules, so I was Down below. Uh, yeah. My little dog's yeah, it says to move clockwise, but it doesn't say where the hand to start with. I don't know. Okay. But we will be playing the competitive one yes. here soon. Please, uh, you know, like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that little bell so you know when we've uploaded <laughs> something and it reminds you and says, yeah. I'll go watch David and Julie. Woohoo! But anyways, thanks for watching, and thanks, I, I'm guys. looking forward to you being the demons. You, you want to be the demons, right? Sure. Because it's going to be easier. Yeah, as long and, as it's easier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because, I'm good. because what makes the nights a little bit harder is that you have to decide on how you're going to use your defense. All Julie has to do is just run and kill things. I just want to run and kill things. I'm good with yeah. that. Yeah, that's good. I'm good with that. Now right. it is time to go rest. It's been over an hour and I'm pooped. My yes. brain is fried. All right, but thanks for watching. Thanks so All much, right. you guys. See you later. Right, bye. bye, -bye.